it's Colleen Rebel Stitcher and her handsome sidekick Albus. Uh, this is episode number 48. I wanted to thank all the new subscribers that have uh, found this channel recently and welcome aboard to the crazy train and those long haulers have been here for since the beginning. Thanks again and you must be gluttons for punishment. Um, let's see, personal uh, business. Edda had, I, if, in case you're new, I have two kids. Edda is our daughter. She's nine. And Walker, our son, is going to be 14 next month. Um, Edda is a swimmer, and she finished her this season's swim meet this past weekend. And she did great. She made improvements all season. We're super proud of her. And she ended the meet with a personal best time in her 100 IM. So... Our Little Mermaid's doing great. And Walker, this past weekend, had his last meet until States, which is next weekend. So hopefully he can pull it all together. And um, he always seems to have like one really good event and the other ones have been kind of mediocre this, um, this season. And um, for States, he has to score a certain amount to qualify for regional so you know fingers crossed um all the puzzle pieces come together next weekend for him um yesterday was um what was yesterday oh my goodness yesterday was wednesday today is thursday i am back to my thursday schedule um of videoing Hopefully I can stay at this point for a while. I, um, it helps to have um, a day to film, but sometimes things get out of the way, or in the way, I should say. And I have some exciting news. My friends Lynn and Liz um, will be back next Thursday to film. So um, they were here um, maybe a month and change ago and everybody seemed to like it. And it was, I was excited to get to share my um, friends with the Floss Tube universe. So they will be back and we'll share all of our stitchy updates and our friendship and um, silliness uh, with you guys next week. Fingers crossed schedules allow for that. Um, I am in the middle of March Madness. I talked about it last um, last video, and um, I will give you updates on who the winners were and where my brackets are and what I've been working on. Um, in case you're unaware of Steel City Stitchers, this is their brainchild. The hashtag for it is hashtag SCS, uh, March Madness 2021. Um, everybody who is participating puts their their two um, competing um, p pieces together and up in their stories and everybody goes and votes and whoever is the winner, that's what you stitch on and it progresses like a you know, March Madness bracket, uh, basketball bracket. Um, I've found out who my final you getting comfy there? My final four are, and I will uh, dive in and show you what I have been up to. I am using March Madness as a way to make progress on whips. I have, at the moment, I have a ton of whips, and I really want to, and a ton of shiny things I want to start, but I'm trying to make some progress and work through my whips before I start too many new shiny things. So um, let me get um my stuff out you know what handsome i know you just got settled in why don't you say goodbye to the peoples oh oh i know so sleepy say goodbye say goodbye to the peoples i love you be a good boy okay first things first the first um was the first bracket was the game of thrones versus the TV dinner and the Game of Thrones won. The next bracket was um, the monkey on the toilet versus the dog. And 
the monkey. Surprise, surprise one. Because she is a crowd favorite. So here she is. Okay, this is where I'm at. I got, let me show you, let me get a little closer here. Um, I worked, I brought this leg down here. I worked around the kneecap area. I did this part of the toilet seat here. And I worked on this area of the dress, this red in the dress right there. That's what I got done during my two days in March Madness. It helped that because of COVID, parents can't go in and watch the swim meet, so I had to sit in the parking lot. And so I worked on um, my little monkey while I, uh, Etta was doing her swim meet. So that's as far as I've gotten. She will progress to the final four. Um, but look at what I discovered when I took her out of the Q-snap. That's all the fabric I have left. I counted out and I think I have maybe like 40 some more going down this way. And that's exactly like to here is where the chart ends. So I'm going to have to shorten up her leg a little bit to make her fit. Um, of course, I have all this extra fabric up top. I don't know what the hell happens when I put things in the Q-snap, but you know. But here she is. She's beautiful, and she's going to be in the final four. Um, so I worked on her, and then after that, it was um, Harriet Tubman versus Quakers in Scotland. Harriet Tubman won. Let me get her out of here. Look at this amazing Underground Railroad bag I have her in, made by Lynn Dorney at Lynn X Stitches Creates. She is my friend and bag maker extraordinaire. And this is how as far as I got on Harriet Tubman. I set the goal for myself that I wanted to finish um, the portrait because I feel like the rest of the text, there's her name, a flower, and a quote underneath her. That's all that's left. And I have a, I had a feeling that that would go pretty fast, but this is what you get bogged down in. And I finished her. I worked until like bedtime the, the last day that it was for her to be stitched on and I met the goal and I was super excited. I think she looks really good and um, I have a sneaky suspicion she's in the final four that she will probably win her bracket. You know, it's up to you guys. I have no pool in it. But if she does, I think I can get a finish. So, Harriet Tubman, this is as far as I had gotten. Move in there. And I got part of her name. So, right now she's Hatu. Um, but that is... And I think I might only have one of these needle winders left in the shop. If that... That might, that's either sold out or I have one left. I'm not sure. But again, all the needle minders on my, that I'm showing you on my whips, they're all in my shop at Rebel Stitcher Designs on Instagram or Facebook. Um, if you are in the need of quirky, nerdy needle minders. Okay, so after Harriet Tubman, it was um, Winter Quaker. Versus Sweeping Cobwebs by Prairie School, the Halloween and Winter Quaker one. Here's, I have the chart here, uh, by Rosewood Manor. And this is what I'm currently working on today. Today is my last day of stitching on this. Um, voting is up right now. Um, if you go to Instagram on stories and you can vote on the first two, um, which is which? Uh, which is the first two of the final four? Which is the Game of Thrones versus the Monkey on the Toilet? So when I left off, I have a feeling this is turned sideways. Yeah, wait. Sorry, this way. So when I 
left this off, I only had that little blue part of this motif. So I finished this motif, and then if we scroll in, I started doing all these little single snowflakes. They're a real pain in the butt. You have to separate the thread and just use one strand, and it's all like back stitching snowflakes. Uh, can you see them? Is it showing up? So this chart calls for a million of these little snowflakes interspersed between the big motifs. I don't know that I'm going to do as many as the chart calls for, but I'm definitely going to do some in there. So this was a big empty space, so that needed some snowflakes in there. Um, I'm probably going to move on to whatever motif goes in here next. And then I know below this one is a huge motif that like goes across two or three pages on the chart. So I, I'm not going to tackle that right now, but um, let's see. Oh, here, Santa was blocking the half a motif. Maybe I'll work on this guy that's already started. But this is a lot of fun. It was a uh, kit, came as a kit, all, chart uh, all kitted up. Um, with the Valdani thread, and this is Dwarf from Picture This Plus, and this is a super fun piece. Um, okay, so that's my final four for March Madness is, um, so it'll be Monkey on a Toilet versus Game of Thrones. That's what's up right now. And then it will be Harriet Tubman versus Winter Quaker. And so whoever the, who the two winners are there, then those are the final two that go and get um, voted on. And hopefully I will be able to get a finish or two. Uh, that might be, or closer to a finish anyway, on a few of them, depending on what gets picked. Um, I also have haul this week. Um, I know I had mentioned that I had found some Picture This Plus from an online shop and I reach out to them because it seemed like the order should have been here by now and he had said the post office had uh, torn the label, the mailing label somehow and it the order got shipped back to him. So it's back on its way and according to the tracking number should arrive tomorrow. So fingers crossed it actually shows up. Um, but anyway, I got a few things, a few charts from Stash Unload that were um, super cheap and fun. And uh, two things that I had asked um, for them to order, Steph to order for me from Keepsakes. So first the Stash Unload I got a Norwal Biscornu by Tiny Modernus. Um, I have never stitched a Biscornu. Um, I was thinking if we do, if I, the Smalls Exchange at StitchCon, that maybe this would be good. And don't, I'm not kidding myself, and don't you guys be kidded, um, tricked. I will not be assembling this. I will be doing the stitching on it and then handing it off to the very capable hands of the finishers, either Jan or Susan at Keepsakes. But I thought this was cute. I like Norwals. They've got little reeds on their um, horns. And in that same vein, I also picked up the same seller had these, the Elephant Beast Cornu. So by Tiny, Tiny Modernist. It looks really cute. It's not a big chart. Um, it's all DMC. They actually give it to you in DMC and Anchor. Um, but yeah, this looks totally doable and would be really sweet for um, a, you know, stitch exchange. What Smalls exchange. Ooh. And then I had shown that envelope... Um, display thing I had gotten at Joanne so of course I had to keep my eye out for Valentine's Day charts and I'm not a super sappy you know oh love and you know pining on things but I thought this was cute just my type um it's so Emma is the what do you call it is the designer and it's just um a little play on words with the old school typewriter 
um, I think, I think Erin on Steel City Stitchers got this because I think she said she was a computer or a typing teacher. She couldn't have been a typing teacher. She's so young. No, nope, she would never have done that. So it must, she must have been a computer teacher. Um, so I got that to put in my little Valentine's Day box. And then the two things I had asked Steph to order me are um, ink circles. They are doing a whole series, a monthly series of these little rabbit pillows. Um, this is the February. I'm not crazy about all of the bunnies. Um, I think it's called Rabbit Rabbit. Or is it? Yeah, Rabbit Rabbit. I'm not crazy about all of them, but there's maybe like three of them that I... Um, really like I mean look at these ears I mean the, the love those ears they're so cute so I think I liked January February and April I think were the ones that I liked at least that I'd seen so far I'm not sure if they're all out and January didn't come in yet and um uh April I think is coming out with the expo uh orders so maybe when my expo orders come and I can share that with you. And then I was at Keepsakes because um, uh, I was at Keepsakes uh, because it's awesome. But also Barb had needed to refill the needle minders. Um, she carries um, a good selection of my needle minders and the display was pretty bare. So I was hanging out there for a little bit and they were going through orders and pulling everything for special orders and Linny was there and she grabs this chart and like tosses it at me. She's like, this looks like something you would like. And she was right because it was ordered for me. It's by um, Madame Chantilly. I think it's called the Royal, yeah, Halloween Royal Family. Um, that goofball sitting there in that throne, the little Prince Pumpkinhead man, I just love him. And so it's like these jack-o-lantern pumpkin royal family i don't know why i love it i've got this weird obsession with halloween so um lenny was right i did like it uh i think that's all that's it Ooh, it's thunder and big time out here um i think that's it for me this week oh the winners if i didn't mention it of the thousand subscriber giveaway the prizes, they got back to me right away. They were awesome. And I mailed out their packages. And if the post office doesn't screw up, which is like 50-50 chance, um, they should be getting their prizes on Saturday. So fingers crossed they get them. And thanks for everybody who has been supporting this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you are new or just stumbled upon here, uh, if you like this cross stitch rambling, uh, hit subscribe and like, and you know, I would greatly appreciate it. And then that way you get uh, notified of when um, I get on here again and start rambling about cross stitch. So for the rest of the day, my plans are to work on Winter Quaker, and then whoever wins the next uh, round in March Madness for the final four. Um, whoever wins, it's like, I just checked before I sat down to film and it's like, maybe it's almost 50, 50. So if you guys have a strong opinion, make sure you go vote, but I'm going to work on this until the next, uh, brackets are over and you guys tell me what to stitch. Um, I will see you next week with my friends will be here. So I won't, you won't have to hear my annoying voice as much. Um, and, uh, I'm looking forward to that and thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. Hey, real quick, I jumped back on because I realized I forgot I wanted to do a floss tube shout out. Um, a couple, I've noticed a couple people have shouted her out, um, but I did not want to leave her off. Um, Betsy Kleger is her name. Um, she apparently used to have a floss tube a while ago, but has left and now she's joined the ranks again of um, floss tube. And I will put her name in the description box below so you get the spelling right. But her YouTube channel is just her name. And she did her first um, YouTube 
YouTube floss tube and it's fantastic. She is what I would call a does she does fancy lady stitching, which is like in my opinion, that's what I call it. Like high count um samplers, you know, prim and proper kind of stitching. But she um is super liberal. Um she has a um fixation with silk and um you'll get that when you see her video and everybody should go check her out uh betsy Kleger and the spelling is in the description box below so i just wanted to make that shout out thanks a lot see you next week guys